Hey guys, Mark Sadowski here with the Tiny Shutter. I'm here at Prospect Hill Park to show you the various differences between the Moment Lens 18mm and the 60mm. I wanted to give you a live feed to give you a good look at how much more it's going to bring the images closer to you and further away. So let's begin. So in the distance, that is Boston skyline. Very pretty. It's a very beautiful day. I am using no lens on the iPhone at the moment and what we're going to do is I am going to attach the 60 millimeter lens there we go and boom brings the skyline much closer in view and 60 millimeters is roughly equivalent to what we see with the naked eye uh, the naked eye it said to that it's uh, about a 50 millimeter equivalent, give or take. Um, I'm going to take this off now and we're going to switch back to normal view. There you see. Going to get the 18 millimeter out as I reach into my pocket. It's a beautiful day here. Prospect Park Hill is located in Waltham. And I'm just outside the city, I don't know, that much is obvious. And we're gonna put the 18 millimeter on. Now, one thing to remember is that video has a crop sensor on it as well to, uh, to you know, for stability and everything. The actual photos are gonna be a little bit different, but here's the 18 millimeter lens. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a bit away. And we're going to switch back to regular view and there you have it now of course I showed you uh, the the video examples of the moment lens uh, here are the lenses up front and nice and uh, close and personal the photography taken is a little bit different uh, the when, when you do video on the iPhone there is a crop factor that allows for uh, the, the the shake of the you know the shake of the iPhone 1080p and you have uh, the, the, the photography that's a uh, little bit more fuller, I would say. Um, I'm going to show you samples of the 60 millimeter lens taking the skyline photo. And uh, now here is the 18 millimeter. And here is one without the lens attachment at all. And the quality of the moment lens, I, I would have to say, is probably the best out there. Walking back to the car now, but there you have it. That is essentially the moment lens for the iPhone. Both the 18mm and the 60mm are great additions to your iPhone photography repertoire. The build quality is great. The image quality is great. I think it's the best out there for lens attachments. And uh, go ahead and get it. It's at uh, do a search for moment lens and you'll find it. You'll be happy and uh, enjoy the photography. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe or go to iTunes and listen to the Tiny Shutter podcast. You can find Tiny Shutter on iTunes, or any other podcatching device that you have, and also go to tinyshutter.com for show notes and more stuff. Yay!